హలో వెల్కమ్ టు ది షేర్ పాయింట్ జర్నీ దిస్ ఇస్ దేవేంద్ర వెలిగెండ్ల ఇన్ దిస్ లెసన్ వీర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ కస్టమ్ లిస్ట్ ఇన్ షేర్ పాయింట్ ట్వంటీ థర్టీన్ యూజింగ్ కంటెంట్ టైప్స్ అండ్ విచ్ ఇన్ టెన్ యూజర్స్ ది సైడ్ కాలమ్స్ సో వీర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ ఎ సైడ్ కాలమ్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ ఎ కంటెంట్ టైప్ అండ్ హౌ టు బైండ్ దట్ కంటెంట్ టైప్ టు ది కస్టమ్ లిస్ట్ ఇన్ షేర్ పాయింట్ ట్వంటీ థర్టీన్ so what is a site column site column is a reusable column definition or a template which can be used in different lists and libraries and what are content types content types are used to manage different types of metadata what is metadata it's a data about the data so let's say for example if you are starting a new project and you need to ask the client what is the type of data you are maintaining that means the data might be sales documents or finance documents or project proposals etc so these are all different kinds of data to maintain these data we need to create a content types so we will start first creating the site columns and let's go ahead and open the sharepoint site so this is our site and for this example we'll take a simple scenario where the client want to maintain the ticket information so we're going to create the list for to store the ticket details so first go ahead and create site columns in sharepoint 2010 we have site actions menu here and we used to go to site settings from the left navigation whereas in sharepoint 2013 we have to use this gear button and from here we can go to site settings so it has changed a little bit and once we open the site settings and under web designer galleries we have option called site columns so click on that site columns from here we're going to create the site columns which are required to create the content type so go ahead and click on create and my first column would be ticket number to store the ticket number this will be a type of number so the page has been refreshed and i'm going to store all this information in a new group i want to group these columns so i'll group that name as ticket details and i can provide the description if i want for the column and i am making this one as required and click okay so i have created the column now which is sitting under the ticket details group which is ticket number of type number i am going to create a few more columns the next one is ticket description which is of multiple lines of text and i am going to use now i can select the existing group itself because we have already created ticket details choose ticket details and make this one also required click okay create couple more columns other one is for priority and one more to whom we are assigning to the ticket to okay let's give it a second let's go ahead and create other column and this will be a choice column and in the choice column choose the group and the option will be p1 p2 p3 p4 and i'm not giving any default and i am making this one also require okay click okay and create one more column called ticket assign to this will be a person or group type and our existing group is ticket details and make this one as required as well and i am allowing only the people 
at the groups and click OK. So if I select our custom group ticket details, I have all the four columns which I wanted to use. Now we have created the side columns. The next step is we are going to create the content type to use these side columns. So go ahead and create a content type. Go back to the site settings menu and click on site content types. And here I can click on create to create new site content type. I'll name that one as ticket details city and I'm using the same description you can change it according to your requirement and I am selecting the parent content type as list and and the parent would be item so I'm going to create a new group for this one as well this is ticket details the content type group click OK so we have created the new content type which is of ticket detail city and which will be having a title column which is getting inherited from the item content type okay now we have content type now we need to attach the side columns which we have created here we have an option to add existing side columns to this content type so go ahead and click on add from existing side columns and we can select the group that is the advantage of creating side columns in a group and select all of the side columns which you have created click on add and click ok now all the side columns has been added to this particular content type and I don't want this title to be used whenever we are using this content type so I click on the title where I can hide it so if I click on the hidden this will not be appear in any forms so click OK now this is a hidden now now we have created side columns the content type which is required and attached those side columns in fact added those side columns to the content type now it's time to create a custom list to sto store the ticket details so Earlier in SharePoint 2010, we have view all site content. We will go there and we will click on create. Now that has been replaced here with the site contents. I can go to the site contents from here or I can go from here as well. So click on site contents. Now where I can create a list from here. Now in SharePoint 2013, all the artifacts now has been called as app so this will be a user friendly so to create a list in SharePoint 2013 you need to click on add an app so this will show all the apps which user can create and from this we're going to choose custom list you can see here the left navigation has been changed that we'll talk in future lessons okay so we'll click on the custom list for the time being and I can enter the names if I want the description I can go ahead and click on advanced options so my list name will be ticket details this list is store the ticket details click on create now I am creating a ticket details list that will be used to store the information see here in the left navigation you have seen one more change it has been added the recent uh, item and under that we have ticket details earlier we have only home documents and site contents on the quick launch now it has added one more link called recent so now I created the list good now I need to use the content type which I have created just now so to do that go to list settings and click on advanced settings and here we have an option to allow management of content types choose that one as yes and click OK now uh, by default this list is using item content type now we want to use our content type to be 
a default first we need to add that content type to do that click add from existing site content types and choose our group and we have only one content type click on add click ok now this list is going to use this ticket detail CD along with the item content type now you can see here we have item content type and ticket detail CD now I want to make this ticket detail CD as the default one to do that click on change new button order and default content type so, and I don't want to use the item content type so I'm unchecking this option and I'm using only the ticket detail CD click OK now we have successfully attaching this content type in fact attached now to this list so if I go ahead to this list ticket details and here in the all items view I can see still the only the title column so let me go ahead and change the view click on list settings come down to the bottom you have only one view click on all items view and I don't want the title but whereas I want the other columns which I have created so uncheck this title and select the ticket assigned to ticket description ticket number and ticket priority and I'm going to change the order ticket number will be the first ticket description will be the second ticket assigned to will be the third and ticket priority will be the fourth click OK now if I go to ticket details the view I have ticket number ticket description ticket assigned to ticket priority now I can go ahead and add the items see here I can see the ticket detail CD I can add the items here enter who is the name which you want to assign to you can enter the description you can type the number and you can choose the priority as simple as that so the advantage of creating side columns and the content types is I can attach this content type to as many lists as possible and it's a reusable one it's always advisable to create a content types and attach those content types to the list because you can have multiple content types to the list and that content types can have workflows etc so in this lesson you have seen how to create side columns and how to attach or add those side columns to the content types and how to create those content types and how to attach this content type to the custom list and make the default one I hope you have enjoyed the lesson thank you for your time and see you in the next lesson